Scott Belbin says, with all these cloud servers that are available today, do you think that micro SD and SD cards will eventually become obsolete? No, because they're too dang convenient. Here's the big thing about SD and micro SD and micro memory and all that is that they don't require an internet connection and they're tiny. There's something about being able to do all your transfers, all your files, all your dumping, all your transferring onto a small little SD card device. That being said, I think you're right. I think the market will shrink uh, because, like, a lot of the devices that depend on SD now are just going to the cloud, especially phones and, um, like, those digital picture frames are going to have all iCloud integrated, especially with Android and all of them. Uh, so I think, I think you have a point. There's a lot of this migration onto this cloud storage. Problem is, cloud storage requires an Internet connection, and, yes, while the Internet connections are becoming more and more prominent, SD is more permanent. So there's a difference between prominency and permanency. I think there's always going to be a demand for some kind of a backup medium or a transfer medium where you can just stick it in your computer, dump a file, pull it back out, stick it in another one, dump a file, especially as an IT guy. Uh, I think there's always going to be demand for that. And it's still getting so cheap, too, like 32 gigs of SD. Oh, you know another thing about cloud storage that drives me nuts now that we're on this subject is I love cloud storage. I use Google Cloud, use it to death, amazing software. But the transfer rates up for uploading and downloading large files, a nightmare. It is a nightmare dealing with large files on the cloud. Uh, if I do a video, for example, and I render, edit, and upload the video so that my buddy Chris on our Craig and Chris show, craigandchris.com, can do editing or rendering, it takes me like two, three hours to upload a two gigabyte file. It's ridiculous. Even with a good upstream, it's just there's too much bandwidth limitation. Maybe, maybe sometime far, far down the line, if Google ever pulls the trigger on Google Fiber and we get really, really fast internet, I could see that happening. But I don't see it happening anytime soon. So maybe for small devices. That's a good question, though. Will we lose our determinant memory? Probably not. 